Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do Naruto Chapter 644 review. This week's chapter of Naruto. Let me just say this, all right? The chapter, honest to God, is simple. It's a simple-ass chapter. Listen, when it comes to story progression, it's minimal at best. Why? Fist bump. Barrier, no, fist bump, Biju bombs, fire, and explode out of barrier. That is literally all that happened. That is all that happened. Fist bump, Biju bombs, fire, and explosion, and they're out of barrier because of Fine Thunder God technique, and that's it. So, let me just say a few things, honest to God. First of all, Seeing Shikamaru actually come up blank for like the first time like the entire series. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Shikamaru's like, mm, 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 mm. we're screwed. Like, oh shit, like we can't do anything now. I just realized the power gap. And this is my thing. Understand that this is why this is one of the reasons why I love what Togoro said. In Yu Yu Hakusho. Absolute power. Absolute power can overcome anything. Bro. Power absolute. Bro. Shikamaru couldn't do shit. The power of Obito. The Mock Sage. Obito's dumbass. The power of the Mock Sage was so overwhelming where he couldn't do a single thing he, he's a mega genius couldn't do anything you can be as smart as someone like Shikamaru you can be as smart as guys like Aizen whatever you can have an IQ over 400 it doesn't mean a damn thing in comparison to absolute power power absolute I like that I like that a lot, a lot. Now the next thing, where the fuck is Ryuzen? Maybe he maybe he pulled something. I, I I don't fucking know exactly. But we're using in my personal opinion, he's gone from MIA to KIA. I think in my opinion it's official. Fuck it. Alright. Enma not possible. Now I, aside from that, I mean, I can't really say anything else, to be honest. Uh Yeah, I can't really say anything else i'll be very honest about that because the chapter it was there was there is a one other thing that was good in my personal opinion and that was the um the character development of minato there was a little bit there because it was minato minato he had the similar mindset of reusing where he felt that he wasn't a good enough okage he had he had uh he didn't accomplish that much apparently in his lifetime i mean that's what he feels i guess he he understands that he could have done a lot better 
when it came to certain people like Obito, his wife, his kid, and so on and so forth. And it's just Naruto continuing to elevate Minato's confidence back to the way it was. And, and Naruto he came out, he, he came out so cheesy. Like, you're just as bad as mom is, man. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, you're awesome, man. You're just as bad as mom is. Yeah, Kage Boon, Kage Boon, Kage Boon. Like, what are you, like, what is this, rocket power? Like, like, what is this? You just as bad as mom is. Yeah, totally. Awesome. Radical. Yeah. Like, get him out of This is why I hate Naruto. I don't like his character. I used to like, I used to love his character. Now, now I, I hate him. Because it's, 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 it's forced coolness. If, that, if you want to call it like that, it, that's what it is. It's forced coolness. I mean, Kishimoto tries to make Naruto cool. Naruto calls himself a badass. If you have to call yourself a badass, guess what? You're not badass. Come on. Like, seriously. I'm badass. Like, no, 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 you're not badass. You are far from. Fuck out of here. You can't be badass and be like, oh no, I, I was gonna say you can't be badass and be, you know, five foot four. But the problem is there's Vegeta. And Vegeta Vegeta never said I'm badass. He was badass. Shishomaru is badass. Byakia is badass. Zoro is badass. Mm, I'm bad. No! Sasuke is badass. Why? Because Sasuke doesn't have to say I'm badass. He just does things. He just Sasuke just does things. And, and that's what it is. He's badass naturally. Oh, fuck it. I'm, I'm going on tiring. Um, but basically, and then there, so so that was all the positive stuff. The negative stuff. I mean, all I can say that the chapter was really simple. There was limited story progression. There was Kushina flashbacks up the wazoo. I'm like, oh my god, like, like another one. Like, and here's my problem with Naruto. Alright, and because today's Thursday, and I just saw the Naruto episodes, uh, episodes 327 and 328, flashbacks of the Wazoo. And the chapter that came out, 644, flashbacks of the Wazoo. I mean, it's a good business move because it extends your series, but it makes me fucking mad sometimes. I'm like, another flashback of the same shit we've seen? Over and 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 over again? Like, come on! Why? If you're gonna have a flashback, make it something different. Something that we've never seen before. Not the same shit. When you have sex in the same position over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, it gets a little bit boring, to say the least. It's like, let's change some shit up. Go upside down. Fuck it, spin around. Let's go. But no, it's the same shit. So, uh, that's my take on that. Like my, my take is simply put that I'm the flashbacks piss me off the high hell. Whether it's Kushina, Kushina's a good character, I like her, but it's, no. I'm saying, no more flashbacks, please, God, no more flashbacks of Kushina. Please, God. The Orin Obito flashbacks, oh, God. <sighs> oh, whoa. Mm -mm -mm. Fuck. I mean, I'm just waiting for the Sage Six Pass flashback. That's what the fuck I'm waiting for. That's what I'm waiting for. That's what I want to see. I want to see back in the era when he first created Ninjutsu. When he first beat the original power Judy, when he became the shit, when he when he became the god of Shinobi, that's what I want to fucking see. I want to see no more of the same shit. So it, it, that irritates the fuck out of me, and it doesn't help the pacing at all, at all, because it was a waste of uh, it was a waste of panels and a waste of time. To to, uh, to be honest, to be told, um, and. There's Obito, he takes the- I mean, Obito's actually fucking powerful shit, I'll be honest, alright? The Mach Sage is actually very powerful, I'll be honest, because it's like... The Beach Dominant, massive Beach Dominant, they explode, the force is directed upwards, and he just gets out like it's nothing. So I'm like, you know what? I don't like the dude at all because he's shitty, but I gotta admit, the dude is powerful. He's a shit character, no matter what the hell- no matter what Supreme Guru or Urban say, he's just still a shit character, 
I ain't changing. I mean, one day I may do a video. I mean, even though the Georgia did a good video responding to those guys, I may do a video one day, but no, like, you, you have to understand, this guy is a shitty character. But the point about it is that he is powerful as shit. I'll give him that. I, I can't deny that. He's powerful as fuck. Uh, 